hello everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing amazing so today i've got a bit of a different one in store for you so wedding season is coming up isn't it like we've been invited to three weddings all in may and we also have avianna's christening so i cannot even begin to tell you like the stress that that has caused me thinking of hang on let me let me get a bit comfortable yeah, just trying to think of what the hell I'm going to wear as a pretty still newly postpartum person who is also breastfeeding. Like, it's been a struggle. So I have been out and I have found a few dresses online that I believe are postpartum friendly, breastfeeding friendly, and also like just really freaking cute. So that is the plan today. I'm going to try them all on for you, show you how they're looking. And of course, if you aren't breastfeeding, if you aren't postpartum, that doesn't mean these dresses aren't for you like these aren't maternity dresses they aren't breastfeeding friendly dresses like they're just from pretty little thing most of them and um, so yeah i'm gonna hop on i'm gonna film it and i'm gonna show you and we'll see what you think i'm not gonna chit chat we're gonna jump straight into it because i already know this video is gonna get very lengthy because i have spent 400 pounds 400 pounds guys so yeah let's crack on and try on these dresses so we are starting off with this little polka dot pink polka dot number so i'll check that on and let's see what it's saying so first dress here and i'm actually liking it a lot more than i expected it's got like the slit here i do need to pop on some heels the only problem i'm having is the back obviously i have to wear like a backless strapless bra which we're breastfeeding um yeah i do actually have something to try these dresses on with so i think i am gonna have to pop this on it's like a um little thing but yeah, I can't imagine that actually fitting me because like the boob size compared to the stomach size it's not on the same level. But yeah, this is the first dress. And yeah, I think to be fair, I think I probably would need like a smaller size because it's just a bit too baggy here. So I think we probably would need to tip that in a little bit. But yeah, I actually, I actually really like that one guys a lot more than I was expecting to. What size is this? Okay, so I got this in a size 8, which is perfect for like the chest area. But yeah, I think just around the waist, it does just, I would just need it in a smaller size. Yeah, I'm actually really vibing with this one. What do we think? Okay, so this is the next dress. Is my camera moved? Because like, I feel like before you could see like the full body. Let me see. Okay, so I feel like, is that slightly better? I mean, this, the colour wise, is absolutely gorgeous. The slit is, I mean... It's a little bit high, but the only problem I'm having is you would absolutely not be able to wear a bra. Because even with this low cut thing, you can still see that. Um, and obviously it's like full back out. But if you weren't to wear a bra, you'd have to tip this up. Which, don't get me wrong, if you're not breastfeeding, that's not a problem. But because I'm obviously going to need access to the boobies, I can't tip them up. Um, so yeah, it's a shame if, I mean, even if I could just put like a little stitch there, It'd be nice, but I think the fact that it would just be impossible to wear any kind of bra. Yeah, oh, that's such a shame, because this is actually, like, so lovely. As well, though, I am only five foot, and this dress is, like, a good three inches too long, even with heels on. Um, so, yeah, that's that's annoying, really. Oh, I'm so good. Okay, so dress number three, and I'm a little bit gutted, because this was actually, like, the one I was most excited about. But let's just start here. I mean, I do have the, like, clear straps on with the, like, bodysuit thing on underneath. But I think this... I just... I don't think strapless works for me. Like, I feel like I'm quite petite here, but then my boobs are, like, so big it makes... I don't know. It just makes me look all out of proportion. But, yeah. I think, you know what? I mean, I'll do a full... I'm annoyed because it's actually gorgeous and I love it. But I think it just... I think it's just making me look bigger than I am, like, especially here, like, because it's quite, like, frumpy almost. I think it's just making me look bigger than what I am. But otherwise, like, I'm in love, but the rest of it, and as well, it's got, like, these um little pointy things here, but the metal just doesn't go far enough up to, like, stop them sagging. So, yeah, I think this one is going to have to be a no, but oh, the colour is just insane. Like, that is the prettiest colour ever. It's a no. It's definitely 
I know, I think first of all, it's just too short. Like, since having kids, like, I'm not about having my legs out. Yeah, I mean, the shortness, I think it's just too short. And also just the booby area, like, I just don't know what bra I could even wear with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say about this one. It is, it's not the vibe. Guys, this is the prettiest dress I have ever tried on in my whole entire life. Yeah, so you've got like the little flowery, lacy detail. I should have probably started by saying, obviously, this one would be for the christening, not a wedding. I'm not allowed to be wearing white to a wedding. That isn't mine. But yeah, it is like a gorgeous length. The slit's lovely. Ooh, I really like this one, actually. What do we think of this one, guys? The other thing is it is a little bit kind of saggy down here, which is kind of the look, which is cute. But as somebody who is five foot, if anyone's above me, they're getting like a full, a full eyeful to say the least. She could almost like tuck it in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, oh, I really like this one. I think it'd just take a little bit more styling. Um, and yeah, this little body thing I have on underneath is not comfortable enough to wear all day. So I need to find like a, a backless bra. Hmm. Oh, it is so cute. So far, this is like, I think this is almost definitely going to be the dress I wear to the christening. Okay, so next up, I think I'm vibing with the strapless to be fair. The colour and like the pattern on this one and like the satin feel is beautiful. But um, I think it's just too frumpy here. Like again, like I just don't think this design is very flattering on me. I think it just makes me look a lot bigger than I am around the hip area. It's a shame though, because I do again like love the colour and love the pattern. Yeah, the back is just pretty standard and obviously these, I mean, I suppose you could potentially like wear the straps like that. It's cute, but it's just not, it's just not it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's going to have to be a no from me on this one. Okay, so I am like in love with the like shape of this one. Yeah, I think this is like really flattering, but... I think it's a bit old lady and not very like, what's the word? Not very wedding vibes. I think it's more fancy meal out vibes rather than a wedding. What do you think? Again, the back's pretty standard, but the only thing, like the main thing that's really, really tempting me with this one is I could wear whatever bra I wanted. And obviously it's got very easy boob access for breastfeeding. Vienna. The material is like gorgeous as well. The sleeves are cute. I like love everything about it except the dress. I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah like I love the material. I love the shape. I love the access. I don't know. Is it, I think it might be the colour. Might be just I don't know. Is it a bit too dull? Yeah. Yeah I don't know about this one. Hmm. What do we think? Let me no down below somebody tell me somebody tell me that is not somebody's sweaty armpit stains it's got the tags on a very crumpled tag to be fair to say the least it feels wet i got it out of the bag and i was like oh this feels wet maybe it's just the material i like went to put it on and i got like the biggest aroma of just beer I'm not trying this one on guys. It's like literally, look at that. It's unzipped. Like whoever the hell has returned that. Like what? It's wet. It stinks. And look at that. Like you cannot, where is it? You cannot tell me that that is not somebody's literal. That is absolutely vile. That is vile. I feel like I need compensation. That is... If you're gonna go out and wear a dress and like leave the tag on to get everything like that was that dress was cheap i said that was a cheap dress why are you out there doing that and if you're gonna do that like please don't leave your sweaty armpit stains on it traumatized okay we've got a little ribbed number i mean embrace it but personally i'd probably wear a bit of shapewear with this one so my initial thought is not wedding -y, like it's gonna be hot probably 
And then I thought, you know what, actually, I might just keep this. If any of the weddings happen to be on like a really cold rainy day, like, you know, if it's just crap weather, it's probably a good option. Obviously, again, I can wear whatever bra I want with this. I um, The thing I'm wearing is not supportive at all, so my boobs literally look very like sad. Um, but yeah, like, pretend I have like a nice bra on. Um, I could wear anything, easy booby access, but again, this isn't just gonna like fall apart, like my boobs aren't just gonna fall out of it. Um, so yeah, kind of, I feel like as well, I might keep this one just because I could get away with wearing it for an occasion other than a wedding. It's shorter than what I would like. It's a shame it doesn't come to like below the knees. I mean, I suppose it could. Yeah, I actually quite like this weirdly, but yeah, I don't think it'd be my go-to. I think it's just a good option if it ends up in like a cloudy, rainy day. I mean, the pattern, let me get a good close-up. The pattern, um, the pattern, the frilliness, like the material. <laughs> Have I just done a nip slip? Um, so yeah, like the pattern, the material, the, I love, I love it. However, this, this is an accident waiting to happen. And yeah, I don't know, the shape is just, it's just not flattering, is it? Like it is absolutely just not flattering at all. And too short. I don't really have much to say about this one to be fair guys, it, it's a no. Okay, so, I love the like, what you, I love the like pattern, texture, colour, I love the booby access, again, could wear pretty much any bra with this. I love everything about it, I just don't love the dress, does that make sense? Like, I love the sleeves, like, everything about this dress I love, except the length, to be fair. It kind of is like a half shin. Let me try to show you a bit clearer. Yeah, oh, excuse the mess on the floor. It's kind of like a half shin vibe, which isn't, like, my vibe. I kind of like it. Kind of hate it. It's practical. It's a very practical dress, like, in terms of breastfeeding, postpartum. It's not tight around the waist. It's got easy boob access, but I'm just, just not in love with it. Got one more dress left to try. And so far I've only got one dress that I'm like definite on. I need three more dresses and I've got one dress left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, sorry. I know the lighting's changed, the angle's changed. I've changed. I'm um, actually coming at you from the future because I actually got another parcel of two more dresses which I just wanted to quickly jump on and show you that were missing from the original haul. This is the next dress. It is really flattering actually. I'll do a spin. It would be easy enough to just wear like a strapless bra with this one I think. It's like full length. It's got these little like pearl and diamante things on it. It's super flattering like I aren't even wearing any shapewear and I feel like with a bit of shapewear that would be fab in terms of bra that sort of I mean I just personally for me I just feel like this is too bare I mean I suppose if you had a nice necklace I prefer a strap also I don't have any fake talent right now so I feel like the colours are just totally washing me out um but yeah I actually really like this one and it was reduced from like a hundred pound to like 25 so it's nice the only the only other problem I'm having is like, because it's so tight, I can't actually take very big steps in it. But yeah, other than that, this one is actually gorgeous. Oh goodness. Let me know what you guys think about this one because I do think it is up there. What do we think? Let me know. Sorry guys, this angle is just not really helpful, is it? So this is the next one, not quite as flattering. It's got a bit of, baggy material here. The pattern's kind of cute, it's kind of like a ribbed effect. Um, I'll stand back for you. It is a bit longer than the other one. What's the back like? Again, quite easy to just wear with a strapless bra, so I wouldn't need to worry too much about the whole backless problem oh, yeah. I've been having with the other dresses. What about if we do it like that? And that's a bit better, isn't it? So you can see. So yeah, this is the dress. What do we think? I love this one actually. I'm quite impressed with these last two. I'm glad they um I'm glad they came. Um so yeah, the ones I'm most contesting with are the one you're about to see. This one, the one I just tried on, and also that white one probably for the christening. And we have also just been invited to a fourth wedding, so 
it's looking like a very busy summer for us. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave all of these dresses linked below. Okay. Did we save the best for last? What do we think? I mean, it is cute. Again, we'd have to invest in a backless bra. It is a little bit risky here, but I feel like I could tape it there and still have access here for AV. So that is not a problem. I personally would probably put on a bit of shapewear just because, you know, I am only three months postpartum. It isn't giving the most, the most smooth vibes, but that is not a problem. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. I can't lie. The length is like beautiful. I do think, other than the white one, which I'm probably going to wear to the Kristen, I think this is probably my favourite. And again, yeah, I, I think I'm definitely going to have to tape it there, but it's perfect here to get i can access there anyway obviously the backless oh yeah the backless bra thing is going to be a problem so i've seen a few that are like tape on but if i was to tape a bra on i then wouldn't be able to have boob access so if anyone i mean i don't need a backless bra just a clay strapped bra would do this thing i am wearing is freaking killing me i am uncomfortable so that definitely isn't an option but yeah, if anybody has any suggestions for like a backless strapless bra and these straps like, oh, these are awful. It's not too bridesmaid easy, that's my only concern is I don't, do I look like a bridesmaid because I'm not a bridesmaid so I don't want to be showing up to a wedding looking like a bridesmaid. Anyway guys, that is all of the dresses. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments which was your favourite I am going to hang on to these dresses for a couple more weeks um, to get your guys' feedback as well as just probably try them all on like three more times each I mean there is some that are like definitely like out like that stinky sweaty bleh, one that, that's gone that is gone but yeah so please let me know what you guys think of all these dresses I will leave all of these linked down in the description box so you can head on over and buy these yourself anyway i'm not gonna chit chat we're gonna end it so thank you all so much for watching if you have liked this video please hit that subscribe button i am my content on my channel is motherhood 202 life a little bit of fashion here and there not really but you get these hauls from me every now and then so is that, if that is something you are interested in hit that subscribe button and i will see you all in the next video bye mm -hmm.